The year, 1492. The distant roar of the ocean, a symphony of waves relentlessly crashing against the wooden hull of a ship, its sails billowing in the pre-dawn wind. This vessel, one of three, navigates through darkness, guided by the stars and an unquenchable thirst for discovery. Aboard the Santa Maria, the captain paces, his name, Christopher Columbus, soon to be etched into history as the harbinger of an era that would transform the world, the age of colonization. Under the veil of night, anticipation grips the hearts of daring souls aboard. Men speak in hushed tones of new lands, gold, and glory. Theirs is not just a voyage across the uncharted waters of the Atlantic, but a journey into the unknown, a leap into the pages of legend. It's a time when the old world's gaze turns outward, beyond the familiar coastlines, seeking to grasp the vast riches and secrets held in the world's unseen corners. With the break of day, the lookout's cry pierces the morning mist. Land ho! Imaginations run wild. What extraordinary encounter lies on the horizon? The story we're delving into is one of monumental encounters, a tapestry woven of valor and conquest, where the seam of adventure collides with the threads of cultural impact. This was an age of empire builders and dreamers, where the legacy of a world yet to come was drawn by the hands of those intrepid enough to chart its course. Thus begins our chronicle of the Age of Colonization, a period marked by grand narratives and complex realities. The world would never be the same, shaped by the bold voyages across perilous oceans and into the heart of distant continents. As we set sail on this historical odyssey, let us reflect upon the actions of those who ventured forth, the lives of those they encountered, and the enduring influence of these epic events that continue to ripple through the currents of time. In the wake of the Middle Ages, Europe was a tapestry of burgeoning nation-states, each seeking to assert dominance and expand its influence. The 15th century, in particular, stood at the cusp of what would be known as the Age of Colonization, a period marked by a feverish scramble among European powers to explore unknown territories and claim new lands. Against the backdrop of the Renaissance, an era of intellectual revival, the political stage was set by a desire for wealth, territory, and the spread of Christianity. This restless ambition would not have been possible without significant technological advancements. The creation of the Caravel, with its innovative design for stability and speed, transformed seafaring capabilities. The astrolabe, refined in this era, allowed sailors to determine their latitude, and the adoption of the magnetic compass provided reliable navigation at sea. Such tools became the sinews of overseas exploration, emboldening adventurers to brave the treacherous waters of the Atlantic and beyond. Maritime knowledge was further advanced through the compilation of rudders, detailed written guides based on the experiences of sailors, a tradition passed down that ultimately facilitated the tracing of new routes. The period also saw the improvement of maps, like the fabled Cantino Planisphere, which slowly began to reveal a world much larger and more diverse than previously imagined. It was within this web of political ambition fortified by technological prowess, that history witnessed the sails of explorers like Columbus and da Gama vanish upon the horizon, heralding an era that would forever alter the contours of the globe. Imagine setting sail across a vast and treacherous ocean, the horizon stretching limitlessly before you, the very edge of the world as known to man. This is precisely the odyssey that awaited the intrepid voyagers of the Age of Exploration, a cadre of daring souls, among them Christopher Columbus, Ferdinand Magellan, and Vasco da Gama. Columbus, an Italian navigator crossing the Atlantic under the Spanish flag, famously sought a westward route to the riches of Asia. Instead, in the year of 1492, his expedition stumbled upon the islands of the Caribbean, thus opening an entirely new world to the European consciousness. The encounter with the indigenous peoples there was just the beginning of a transformative era stemming from his voyages, which spanned four in total. Ferdinand Magellan, another luminary, embarked on a quest that would mark him as one of the first to circumnavigate the globe. In 1519, setting forth with a fleet of five ships and a crew teeming with hopeful ambition, 
Magellan braved the treacherous strait now bearing his name, navigating through unfamiliar and unforgiving waters. Though Magellan himself never completed the circumnavigation, falling in conflict in the Philippines, his remaining crew, under the command of Juan Sebastián Elcano, achieved this monumental feat in 1522, forever altering the way humanity perceived the world. Vasco da Gama's narrative, beginning in 1497, is etched in history as the first European to reach India via the Cape of Good Hope. Confronting violent storms and the threat of scurvy, da Gama's arrival in Calicut marked not only a navigation triumph, but also a pivotal moment for spice trade dynamics. His journey prompted an era of European maritime dominance, the ripple effects of which were felt across oceans and continents. But not all was discovery and wealth in these voyages. There's plentiful record of adversity and hardship, the crew battling through sickness, the uncertain weather patterns capable of turning deadly, and the dire supply shortages. The human spirit behind these odysseys, the determination to push forward where maps ended, is rivaled only by the endurance of the sailors who lived and often died navigating the proverbial and literal waters of the unknown. These pioneers, through their explorations, did more than claim territories. They bridged disparate worlds and set the stage for an age of global connection. Columbus, Magellan, da Gama, names that stand as testament to humanity's insatiable quest for knowledge and adventure, their legacy a map forever expanded. Venture with us back to a time when the world seemed boundless, the horizon a curtain about to be drawn. It was an age where sails against the sky promised discovery and, indeed, a meeting of worlds. Let us set the scene of those initial encounters between the European adventurers and the native peoples they found upon reaching what was, for them, uncharted territory. In the waning years of the 15th century, Christopher Columbus, on his famed 1492 voyage, sponsored by the Spanish crown, stumbled upon the Bahamian Islands. Mistaking them for the eastern fringes of Asia, Columbus and his men were the first of many Europeans to encounter the rich tapestry of indigenous cultures. What followed was a series of exchanges that were as profound as they were fraught. The indigenous peoples, with societies and civilizations of their own, met these strange new visitors with curiosity and a range of reactions from hospitality to hostility. The natives offered gifts of gold, food, and knowledge of the land, as Columbus and subsequent explorers arrived with trinkets, weapons, and inadvertently, diseases. A notable anecdote often reflects the misunderstandings that arose. Europeans, obsessed with gold, often misconstrued the natives' spiritual and decorative use of the metal as a sign of vast, untapped wealth. Language barriers and disparate worldviews led to profound misinterpretations and missed opportunities for genuine understanding. Early records from explorers detail these meetings, such as Columbus's own log entries, revealing a mix of wonder and condescension. Hernan Cortes's encounter with the Aztecs, or Pizarro's with the Inca, showcased how diverse these interactions could be, spanning the gamut from tentative cooperation to outright conquest and dominance, shaping the beginnings of a new epoch. Even as we recount these initial exchanges, it's crucial to recognize the lasting impact they'd have on histories yet to unfold. The seeds of future societies were sown in these moments of contact, paving the way for a world in which the collision of cultures reverberates to this day. As we delve into the fabric of the colonial world, we witness the establishment of European colonies, which were not mere replicas of the societies from whence they came, but hybrid creations with their own unique governance structures. The Spanish, for instance, swiftly set up their vice royalties, like New Spain and Peru, imposing a centralized administration mirroring their home government, with a viceroy acting as the king's representative. Across the Atlantic, the English approach differed. They adopted a more decentralized system, one that allowed colonies like Virginia to self-govern through assemblies, such as the House of Burgesses established in 1619. These assemblies, while subject to royal authority, laid the groundwork for a political tradition that would eventually evolve into a revolutionary spirit. Economically, 
the colonies were steeped in the mercantilist policies of the day, serving as sources of raw materials for European industries and as markets for their finished goods. Consequently, colonial economies were highly diverse, ranging from the fur trade of New France to the sugar plantations of the West Indies, each fueled by an insatiable European demand. Socially, a stratified society emerged, often based on birthright and wealth, replicating and sometimes intensifying the inequalities of Europe. The encomienda system in Spanish territories, for example, granted conquerors control over indigenous labor, while in English colonies, indentured servitude and later African slavery became tragically commonplace. These new societies, far from their sovereign powers, developed robust local governance with leaders who often made pivotal decisions. Figures such as Peter Stuyvesant, the strict director general of New Netherland before its capture by the English in 1664, left behind legacies still reflected in the modern cityscapes and cultural mindset. As we observe the complex tapestry of colonial governance, economy, and social structures, it is clear the age of colonization was not solely an era of conquest and exploitation. It was also a time that set in motion new dynamics that would shape the future geopolitical landscapes and sow the seeds for the modern nations and societies we see today. As Europe cast its gaze across the oceans, the age of colonization brought more than just ships to new shores. It heralded an era of unparalleled cultural exchange. It was a time when the old world met the new, and they each left indelible marks upon the other. Religions, previously confined to specific geographies, began to find new followers across the seas. Notably, Christianity rapidly spread through the Americas and parts of Africa and Asia, fostered by missionaries and settlers with evangelical zeal. Cathedrals rose alongside native temples, and along with them, the local customs began to intertwine with Christian celebrations. For instance, by the late 16th century, the Philippines had embraced Catholicism, which to this day remains the dominant religion. Language also flowed freely from continent to continent. Spanish and Portuguese became lingua francas in the New World and parts of Africa and Asia. This linguistic shift not only transformed communication, but also deepened colonial administration. The introduction of the printing press further entrenched European languages, with the first book in the Americas being printed in Mexico City in 1539. Daily life was impacted as well. Colonizers brought wheat, cattle, and horses, revolutionizing indigenous agriculture, transportation, and warfare. Conversely, crops like potatoes, maize, and tobacco traveled back across the Atlantic, soon to become staples and cash crops in Europe. Even the infamous triangular trade, while indicative of the darker aspects of exchange, like slavery, also led to the spread of culinary tastes, musical styles, and linguistic fragments that have survived to this day. But perhaps most evocative were the anecdotes of mutual curiosity. Take the accounts of the Taino people, who upon encountering Christopher Columbus in 1492, were as intrigued by the Spaniards' beards as the Europeans were confounded by the Taino's hammocks. Or consider the Jesuit priests in Japan during the 16th century, who, while fostering the spread of Christianity, also became some of the first Western scholars to study and document the Japanese language and culture. The tapestry of cultural impacts was not woven from unilateral imposition, but rather from the myriad interactions, some harmonious, others contentious, that marked this period. It is within this intricate web of influence that we begin to discern the complex legacy of colonization, a legacy fraught with challenges, yet rich in global transformation. As we move on, let us maintain this broader perspective on the past, acknowledging both the benefits of cultural exchange and being mindful of the not-so-distant echoes of domination and resistance. It is through understanding these nuances that we form a clearer picture of our own place in the present. As we venture deeper into our exploration of the age of colonization, we reach the chapter that many find harsh and unsettling, yet it's a chapter that cannot be overlooked if we seek a complete understanding of this epoch. It's time to address the darker side of colonization, where the initial glitter of discovery and exchange 
fades into the grim reality of exploitation and conflict. The age of colonization was marked by great powers of Europe carving up the world, laying claim to lands beyond their borders with a fervor driven by economic gain, strategic advantage, and a professed civilizing mission. However, these aspirations often came at the expense of indigenous populations. The year 1492, when Columbus set foot in the New World, symbolizes the beginning of centuries of conquest and subjugation. Lands were seized, local populations were decimated by disease and warfare, and those who survived were frequently subjected to harsh labor in mines and plantations. The infamous encomienda system, instituted by the Spanish crown, entrusted conquistadors with the governance of these lands and the labor of its people, a system that often led to abuse and effectively resembled slavery. This era bore witness to the rise of the transatlantic slave trade, a horrific enterprise that began in the early 16th century and lasted for over 400 years. Millions of Africans were forcibly transported to the Americas, enduring unimaginable conditions and suffering. A commoditization of human life was underway, an aspect of colonization that would ripple through generations, shaping global demographics and leaving a legacy of racial tension and inequality that persists to modern times. We also see the spread of European culture, language, and religion across the globe, a cultural transformation that is both profound and complex. While colonial powers often celebrated these changes as civilizational advancements, they came at the cost of suppressing and eradicating native cultures. Languages, customs, and belief systems, some which dated back millennia, were forever altered or silenced in the whirlwind of assimilation and conquest. The political landscape, too, experienced seismic shifts. Colonial rule introduced new governance structures and redrew boundaries that often disregarded the existing ethnic and cultural divisions, sowing seeds of future conflicts, some of which have only been addressed in recent years with independence movements and the formation of new nations. The Treaty of Tordesillas in 1494, which divided the New World between Spain and Portugal, is an early example of the outsized influence colonizing states had in determining the fate of vast territories and their inhabitants. Reflecting upon this period crystallizes a multifaceted legacy. Empires were built, nations were formed, and the global order as we know it took shape, but the undercurrents of colonization run deep, and we continue to grapple with the lasting impacts. The dynamics of wealth, power, and cultural hegemony established in this era set a stage where global inequality and cross-cultural exchanges would play out for centuries to come. Our collective memory of the age of colonization is one streaked with both awe and anguish, with advancements shadowed by the traumas still resonating in the fabric of today's society. As we draw this enlightening journey through the age of colonization to its close, let us gather the threads of our exploration and weave together the key insights from this tumultuous yet transformative era. Our voyage across oceans and centuries has revealed how a confluence of ambition, curiosity, and invention propelled European powers to set sail towards the unknown, forging pathways that would irrevocably interlace continents and cultures. We've traversed the astonishing narratives of intrepid pioneers like Christopher Columbus, who reached the Americas in 1492, Ferdinand Magellan, whose expedition first circumnavigated the globe between 1519 and 1522, and Vasco da Gama, who found a sea route to India in 1498. Their sagas are emblematic of human tenacity and the unquenchable thirst for discovery that define the age. The tapestry of this epoch is textured with the birth of colonies, where the old world's hunger for new resources found satiety in the rich and varied landscapes of the new world. We observe the emergence of nascent societies, where European structures of governance and economic systems were implanted into foreign soils, oftentimes at great cost to indigenous populations and their way of life. Cultural exchanges, sometimes harmonious, often tumultuous, brought languages, religions, and customs into contact, blending and clashing to create new cultural hybrids. 
This cross-pollination, while enriching the human mosaic, also led to the erosion and, in tragic instances, the total extinction of native traditions and languages. And yet, amidst these narratives of conquest and discovery, we mustn't shy away from reflecting on the more somber legacies, the exploitation, the conflicts, and the far-reaching implications for global demographics and cultural landscapes. The vestiges of colonization continue to shape international relations, social structures, and individual identities to this day. As we bid farewell to the age of colonization in today's episode of the Daily History Podcast, I invite you to ponder how this era's triumphs and transgressions have sculpted our modern world. Consider the ways in which the seeds sown during those times have blossomed into aspects of contemporary life we might take for granted, and how they also bear the bitter fruit of historical wounds yet to heal. Join us next time as we continue to peel back the layers of history, uncovering the stories that have made us who we are. Until then, reflect, learn, and stay curious. Thank you for joining us on the Daily History Podcast to witness the remarkable journey of the Wright brothers. If this story of innovation and determination has inspired you, please subscribe to our channel and share your thoughts in the comments below. We're eager to hear which historical milestones you're curious about. Remember, you can drive the choice for our next episode. Suggest a topic, and if your idea gets the most likes, it could be featured in an upcoming episode. Thank you for listening, and stay tuned for more windows into the past that have shaped our present.